Hi, my name is Gavin and we're working on a MicroMouse model. Today uh, we're going to go through the idea of a subsystem, how to create sub subsystems and ports, and uh, we'll just pick up from where we left off last time. So here we have our Revolut joint that we were, um, we had created a bi-directional interface to a rotational mechanical system. And the first thing I want to do is create a subsystem out of this because we're going to use it in other places. Um, so, all we have to do is highlight the blocks that we want to create a subsystem for. Let it go, let that left uh, button go, and go to this create subsystem. Okay, now it got a little uglier, you might say, but we, we hid some of the complexity inside a block. Um, so, let's first go into that block, and I, I want to point out a couple things. Up here, this is like the root, you can think of it like a browser root. Um, like in your exploring a folder structure in Windows, something like that. Now as I go into this, I'm going to rename the subsystem bridge. If I go into it, then you can see this is almost like I'm diving down into a subfolder. Um, it's a submodel. So now let's, uh, let's name these things. This is going into the angular velocity source, so this is going to be W. And this is coming out of the torque sensor, so it's going to be T uh, to match up what we were connecting before. And actually, we don't want the DC motor. We're going to um, model that separately. So we're going to delete that. And we'll delete this and connect this fellow. Let's see. We'll do it like this. Right click and drag. And this is going to be, these are sort of arbitrary, but we'll call that one R, and we'll call this one C. Okay. Good. And I'm going to hit escape, which is the same thing as going, clicking here and going up a level, or clicking here and going up to the parent. You see it highlights where we just were. And now, we don't have uh, because we cut those connections, so I'm going to delete the electrical portions. We don't need them for now. Um, and we know we want the T on one side, and let's put the R on the other side too. We'll leave the W and the C on this side. So we want T and R to be the left-hand side of this block. So we'll double-click on the T, change the subsystem uh, port location to the left, and R will also make on the left. The other ones are as you might guess, they're already on, already there, they're on the right. So I'm going to hit escape. Okay, very good. Um, now, let's... That's already correct. That's looking good. So this is looking a little more like a bridge now. Okay. Um, now, let's change a couple of other things. Um, and whenever you create a subsystem, all of the open inputs that don't have an attachment or the open outputs that don't have an attachment will create a port, um, including both physical ports like we saw here. These are, um, if you look at this, they're the, well, they call it PMC, physical modeling connection ports. When you look for them in the library, they're called connection port. Um, and they're found, let's just open up library and I'll show you where they're at real quickly. Uh, they are found under Simscape Utilities, and there they are, connection port. Um, so what we wanna do is kind of terminate those things that we don't need uh, ports for. So for this bridge, we don't really need two connections um, because we don't care about uh, all of the uh, we don't need all of the, uh, how do we say this the right way? It's, it's enough that we think about um, our axle connections with one connection. We don't actually need both sides of it. So we can actually put a ground signal on the one side. You can think of it like a single-ended versus a differential connection. In this case, for our mechanical connection, we, we just need it to be single-ended. So um, let's do that real quickly. And we can do that by going into the foundational library and uh, looking at physical signals and sinks. And there's a, actually it's not, it's uh, 
it's not the physical signal, it is the mechanical. Sorry, my brain was on a different track there. So I need a rotational element and I need uh, a ground, basically. There we go. And I will hide that. Now we still have this one. Um, so I'm going to make a connection port for that and call it um, right axle. That'll go in there. Now we've got a bunch of other ones. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to terminate these other guys. So these are just regular simulink um, signals. So I'll terminate those and I'll hide the name because it's pretty easy to see what that is. So I'm just terminating these other guys. These are the output forces of the um, of the what are they called? Contact blocks. Um, and there's four, but there's one other thing, and I have a, a tru the truth signal, the distance, and I'm going to leave that. Um, and what we'll do. I'll show you where that's at in the library actually real quickly. Um, if you look at the Simulink and then go to sources, or sorry, syncs, we have out ports. We can also find it in the ports and subsystems. There's in and out ports here too. Um, so we'll just, doesn't matter which one, it's the same, just two references to the same block. So I'm going to connect this and I'll just call it uh, truth for now. We'll worry about that later. All right, so now I've, I've taken all of these um, and I've made them either ports or terminated. Now I'm going to highlight the entire set of blocks and create a subsystem with it. Okay, so now I have a subsystem and I'm gonna call the subsystem 3D multibody, I guess. And I have a truth output um, that for the moment I'm just going to put a terminator on. And then I have a right axle that I currently have a port for, but uh, for the moment I don't need that. And I'll actually just assign a rotating free end. Okay. So, um, we have, uh, we really need to create two, uh, both a right axle and a left axle. So let's go back in there and we can notice now we're going into the 3D model folder, you might say, or subsystem. Uh, so let's create another Revolut joint that takes the place of this guy. Um, you can see we really should start making subsystems. <laughs> Things are getting crowded in here. So what I'm going to do just to save some time is just delete this joint because the settings are going to be exactly the same. Um, and then I'm going to grab this block, rotate it around so that the base is still attached to the follower, you know, in the same way it was on the other one. And I'm going to right click, copy and paste. Um, these are going to, the connections are going to be on the wrong side, but it doesn't matter. Um, and We'll do the same type of setup here. And just like that, we've got ourselves another bridge to the other axle. We'll call this the left axle. And there we go. If I hit escape, now we have a right axle and we have a left axle. And um, we'll, con we'll connect that to another rotating free end. Um, and there you have it. So now we've uh, and we've just abstracted ourselves from the details of our 3D body, our multi-body um, model. And we can go into it and, and go fix things or uh, add more details if we need to. But basically, we can look at this and say, okay, this part's basically done. And now we'll move on to the next thing. And uh, next time, we're going to talk about the drive system. Um, we'll, and we'll be able to duplicate that. It'll be great. We'll make one drive system for the right axle, one drive system for the left axle. And, uh, and then we can start driving this with something realistic. So um, we're going to get there. There's a lot of steps to this project, but I hope you're enjoying it. Um, hit subscribe, hit like, all that good stuff. I hope to see you soon. Thanks.